morning. Today we'll talk about London during World War II. During World War II, London was heavily, heavily bombed by the Luftwaffe during the Battle of England. And while a German invasion seems almost inevitable, the British military was leading the army from here. Today we will explore two attractions. One is the war rooms, and the second one is really inaccessible, can be visited only two days per year, and it's about the secret bunker of Churchill. At the end of the First World War, London was hit for the first time ever by airstrikes. Nothing really major, aviation wasn't very a developed weapon. The Second World War, it became such a destructive and new weapon, and therefore the English government had to be prepared for it. They built a number of bunkers to protect the English government, uh, to make sure that under a heavy attack there were places where these people could, could be uh, protected and could guide the country in such a difficult time. The first one, the most important one, was in Whitehall, central London. It was heavily used. Uh, because it was never actually hit by a direct uh, airstrike. And the second one is here. We are in uh, Dolly Sins, uh, North London, in front of the Churchill Bunker. It was actually a backup in case of complete destruction of central London. Thanks to God, fortunately enough, it never happened. Churchill used it only twice. The bunker was left in 1945, and what you can see today is essentially is what was left back then. We saw the map rooms, uh, the kitchen, the heating and the, and the ventilation system, which is quite important. But a couple of things that we noticed is that there were, were no bathrooms and no sleeping rooms. Effectively, the place was like a daytime where the government was coming to meet and to work, but overnight they were like spread around and going to sleep in all the accommodation around this area. There were other bunkers around London. There was one near here for, for the Navy. There was one in the south of London near Twickenham for, for the Army. And the idea was to avoid concentration of all the heads in one, in one, in one spot where they could be hit by a direct strike. Now the building has been sold to a real estate company. They built flats on top of it. And a charity who organized a visit for the public twice, twice a year. 